CLF-3 is a very common explosive used in this game, but typically requires some form of like uh, heating in like a modular grenade or just in general requires some extra setup. Um, well, the spear setup for explosive spears does require some setup. Uh, you need chlorine and fluorine to make CLF-3. You can order this out of a chemicals crate P, and chemistry gets these chemicals around start. There are also other ways to get this, but this is pretty much the primary way. In order to make explosive spears, you can't really make a single individual spear explosive as far as I'm aware because if it's hot enough to mix in the spear, it'll explode. But it's really easy to make it a spear um, explosive on its own. So like, what you do is you just get a beaker and you can set the transfer amount to one unit. It doesn't really matter which one you heat up. I guess it's probably just better to use the chlorine. So you could just get something like five units of chlorine or heat the entire beaker. It doesn't really matter. And you just let it sit on a hot plate for a short time. And in one spear, it doesn't matter what type of spear, all spears have two units of injection. You inject a fluorine, and this will be the one that you throw second. So while that heats up, blood red hard suits have 50% explosive resistance. So just a good way to test it. They also have 50% pierce, so basically just they have double effective HP. And throwing a normal spear does 15 pierce as well. So if you can manage to land both spears, you can get some pretty good damage off. Obviously, make better spears if you're able to. Like a thrown plasma spear with this can do quite a lot of damage. So now that this beaker is heated up properly, you just dump the units into another spear. So you have the chlorine spear, which would be green, and the fluorine spear, which would be purple. So you take the green spear, and you throw the green spear in the first, and then you throw the purple spear in. And if you did it right, they'll explode instantaneously. The damage is pretty solid. You can get over 50 damage in a pretty quick burst. You can throw really quickly if you do it this way. And if we use the plasma spear or uranium spear, they would have taken even more damage, probably more towards 70 damage. Another way to make CLF-3 explode is through ingestion. So anyone who has an oxygen tank turned on won't be affected by this, but not everyone has this on at all times. And this is especially useful for like syndicates or nukies. Uh, using it against nukies is probably going to be pretty pointless. Mixed smoke is literally just one unit phosphorus, potassium, sugar. You could also use foam for this, but I think this is a better mix. So in one beaker, we can mix something like 25 chlorine, 25 phosphorus and potassium phosphorus potassium and sugar makes smoke and then another beaker we can do 50 fluorine and then 25 sugar and this will make a rather large uh, smoke explosion so another thing you're going to end up wanting to do at this point is get a bucket and buckets actually fit in your inventory uh, without much of an issue and you really just want to dump one of the, be the beakers in here and the other beaker you're going to want to set the transfer amount to 50 and put it in your backpack anyone who does not have oxygen on when you mix this near them it'll make a smoke effect and when they ingest it they'll literally start exploding because of the clf3 mixture and anyone breathing that in will take a massive amount of damage and pretty much die also i'm breathing so i didn't have uh, any issue here but it does space the floor if there's enough explosions, and even somebody with a ton of explosive resistance, if they don't have their oxygen on, they will die from it. Obviously, there is a lot more powerful things you actually could do than just that. Uh, you can make a grenade with better mixtures, but it's pretty much an instant kill. So going for a bigger smoke effect will get more people, or just make multiple beakers of this stuff and mix them together. It's not that precise to kill people with this. So just to give a good representation of how much damage this can really do with a low amount of chemicals as long as you save it, 10 potassium, phosphorus, and chlorine in one. And then in a small beaker, you could use a small beaker, just do 30 fluorine and 10 sugar. Set the transfer amount of the little beaker to uh, 50. And as soon as you dump it in, it'll make the smoke. And you start exploding pretty much instantly. It's a small amount of smoke, so this is like as small as it gets. But if you mix it on top of somebody and run away, they'll pretty much be doomed to die. I mean, that 100 to 0 to Captain uh, with a very low amount of chemicals. And if we want to do something like a large uh, smoke amount, you could use something like a bucket. Uh, 100 phosphorus and potassium and then dump this all in the bucket preemptively and buckets are only a two by two so you can fit this in your inventory really easily we'll just do 30 fluorine you dump that in and then finally you keep in this beaker you keep 10 chlorine and then you put in 40 sugar which when you mix this will make a massive smoke cloud you could do it in a bucket you don't even need a grenade so if you don't have access to them so you dump the 50 units in the bucket, which you could do this in your inventory. It'll make 
a pretty damn large smoke cloud can cut off an entire hallway, pretty much an entire room, and anyone inside will die in three or four ticks of the explosion. Making the smoke bigger is more deadly than making the CLF-3 mixture stronger, because once you're exploding, you're already doomed to die anyway. Uh, anyways, that's a very quick improvised explosive tip. Thank you for watching.